In this lesson, we're going to look at a really cool question. It's the bouncy ball question. Maybe your teacher's done this with you in class. But let me just explain. So what happens is you have a ball, okay? And that ball is originally at a height of three meters. Someone then drops that ball. And of course, the ball is going to travel downwards. It's going to bounce up. And it's just going to keep going, okay? Now, obviously, this diagram can go on a bit longer. You know, does something like that. And eventually, the ball would stop. Now, the question says, determine the total vertical distance traveled by the ball. So, we do not know how long this process is going to go on for. That ball might bounce 6,131 times, right? We don't know. But what we realize, if you go look at these numbers, let's quickly go work out the ratio between those numbers, and let's see if we can work out some pattern. So that's 2.4, 1.92. So to work out the ratio, you know, if I gave you the number 5, 10, 20, 40, you would easily tell me, oh, Kevin, the ratio is 2. But how did you actually get that? You can get that by saying this number divided by this number. Then you can also say this number divided by this number. Okay, so now when I give you these ones, don't panic, just go do the same thing. So you can work out 2.4 over 3, and let's see what we get. 0 0.8, or 4 over 5. Then we can say 1.92 over 2.4. Ah, it's also 0 0.8. You see, so the way that this ball is going to fall, or the way that it's going to keep bouncing, it's going to have a constant ratio. Now, I said that we don't know how many times this ball is going to bounce, but that doesn't matter. Because in the previous lesson, we learned about the sum to infinity, which only tells us what only, all that we need to know is the first term, and we need to know the ratio. We know that that ball is eventually going to stop. That's obvious. So this is where the sum to infinity is really beautiful, okay? But now, you've got to be careful. What a lot of learners are going to do, they're just going to go put all these numbers in, and they're going to be like, okay, cool, done. But then what you're doing is you're just looking at 3, 2.4, 1.92, and all the other numbers after that. But that is not what the ball is actually doing. This ball is going 2.4 up, and then it's going 2.4 down. It's going 1.92 up and 1.92 down. So these numbers here and all of the others, they need to be doubled. Because we're doing 2.4 twice. We're going up and down. We're not going to do the 3 because the 3 only goes down. The 3 doesn't go up and down. So what I want you to do is ignore the 3. Leave the 3 out completely for now. We'll take, that, we'll take care of that later. So let's go use the sum to infinity formula and just start here. Okay, so we're just going to say 2.4. The ratio is still going to be 0 0.8. Let's go work that out quickly. That gives you 12. What that means is that if you had to add all of these numbers together, that would give you 12. But what we're then going to do is we're just going to multiply 12 by 2 because we said that all of these numbers are going to be up and down. So it's actually going to be 24. Hope that makes sense because, though, because otherwise you're only adding these numbers, but you've got to remember that it goes up and down. Okay, so that's 24 meters for all of that. Then we can simply say 24, and we'll just add 3 meters, because this one wasn't doubled, and that's going to give you 27 as our final answer. Now, there are other ways of doing this, okay? Um, there's lots of different ways of doing this, so try whatever way you like. Obviously, you're going to have to use sum to infinity, um, but there are different ways to get to 27 meters.